Okay, let's go ahead and review how to round fractions. And you will have to excuse my voice. I do have a cold, so I'm talking a little deeper right now. Uh, for rounding fractions, basically when we round a fraction, we're basically asking, okay, is this fraction closest to 0, a half, or a whole? Is the fraction closer to nothing, like 0? Is it closer to a half, or is it closer to the whole thing? Now, if we take a look at this first, first fraction right here, sometimes the answer is going to be obvious. 99 hundredths. Is that closer to 0? Is that closer to a half? Or is that closer to a whole? Now, this one's kind of obvious. To think of it, if the bottom number, the denominator is 100, and that's, I have top number, the numerator is 99. Remember, bottom number is how many pieces altogether. Top number is how many I'm talking about. If there are 99 pieces and I have, excuse me, if there are 100 pieces and I have 99 of them, I have almost the whole thing. So this one would be obviously closest to 1. Okay? Now, it may not always be quite as obvious. Take a look at this fraction, 7 twelfths. Remember, if, you're, if you can do it in your head and you can just kind of see it, great. But if not, here's the strategy, remember, that we learned to do it. If I want to know if it's closer to 0, half, or whole, I'm going to write three fractions underneath it. I'm going to write this fraction, which will be 0, half, and a whole. Notice I kept the denominator the same. So 0 would be written as 0 twelfths. 12 pieces, I have 0 of them, none of them. A whole would be written as 12 twelfths. So 0, a whole, and half, you just ask yourself, what's half of 12? Half of 12 is? 6. So now I have 0, half, or whole, and I need to ask myself, which fraction is 7 twelfths closest to? Is that closest to 6 twelfths, 12 twelfths, or 0 twelfths? Well, first of all, 7 is greater than 6, so it's going to have to go between here. And is 7 closer to 6, or is it closer to 12? Well, it's 1 away from 6. It's 5 away from 12, so it's closer to this fraction. And that fraction, we know, that is equal to 1 half. So 7 twelfths rounded to the nearest half is 1 half. If we look at this example over here, I now have a mixed number. If you have a mixed number, you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to write the fractions down at the bottom. That would represent 0, half, and whole. But now, don't forget, you have to put the whole number out in front of it, like that. Okay? So if this is 0, it would be 0 fourteenths. If this is going to be the whole, this would be what? Mm-hmm, 14 fourteenths. And half would just be half of 14, which is 7. Okay, now we just have to see, okay, hmm, 11 fourteenths. Is that closer to 0 fourteenths, 7 fourteenths, or 14 fourteenths? Well, it's going to be in between here somewhere, because 11 is greater than 7. How far away is 11 from 7? <coughs> this is 4 away here. How far away here? 3 away here. So it's closer to this fraction. And now we're going to ask ourselves, if I covered up the 4, what is 14 fourteenths equal to? 14 fourteenths is equal to 1, but I already have 4. So if this is 1 plus the 4, that would be equal to 5. So 4 and 11 fourteenths rounded to the nearest half would be 5. All right? And let's do one more problem. And let's do one with an odd-numbered denominator, like 11. Some of you, you look at it and say, wait a second, I can't take half of that because it's an odd number. Yes, you can. You're just going to have a decimal. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to write under here. We're going to write our three fractions. Notice that I did not forget to put the whole number. I've got a 5 in front of the fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. What goes here? 0, because this is 5 and 0 elevenths. This would be 11, because remember, we want to represent 0, half, whole. This is 0. This is the whole. Now comes time for a half. How do you write half of 11? I like to think of it this way. 11 is the same thing as 10 plus 1. So what's half of 10? 5. 
what's half of 1? One? 1 and a excuse me, a half. So half of 11 would be 5 and a half, or we could write that 5.5. 5. So half of 11 is 5.5, 5. or kind of a shortcut that you can remember. If you've got an odd number denominator and you need to take half of it, go down 1. So down 1 from 11 would be 10. Half of 10, 5, and then just stick the half on the end, the 0.5 on the end. So now we have to see, hmm, which one is it closest to? Is it closer to 0, half, or whole? Well, it's going to be on this side. 3 is 0, 3 and 0, excuse me, 3 is 3 away from 0. It's only 2 and a half away from 5.5, so it's closer to this one. And remember, this is a half plus the 5 I already have, so that would be 5 and a half. So 5 and 3 elevenths rounded to the nearest half would be 5 and 